Okay, here's an opening screenshot for QUCS. And this is a quite universal circuit simulator. So within QUCS, which is open, open source, you can run DC analysis, um, AC analysis, um, S parameter analysis for small signal microwave applications, well, also down to into RF, and harmonic balance and transient simulation also. So it's got uh, quite a bit of uh, options. And first thing you want to do is come over here and into the projects um, window is create a new project. Um, so in this case, um, I will call it demo. And uh, once we have that going, then uh, we can start building from there. Um, so that now under projects, we can see that there's demo and the original one. Um, content, you won't spend a whole lot of time down in here. And then there's components. Um, and in the case of lumped components, which is first choice, you've just got about everything you could think of here. Uh, there's transformers, they even have a relay. Um, there's uh, couplers. Um, what else? Uh, variety of transformers and you know R, L, C, ground. Also um, underneath the uh, components uh, um, block there is a set of, of sources. So you've got uh, a battery, a DC voltage source is a battery um, and also an AC voltage source and a variety of, of other um, control uh, or um, other uh, source inputs for driving your circuits. There's pulse generators, um, noise generators, um, all kinds of things in there. Also, um, there are, uh, there's a current probe and a voltage probe that you can put in your circuits for um, uh, monitoring current through um, a, a connection or the voltage on a node. There's also quite a variety of transmission line options in terms of uh, different structures. And some of them are very physically defined, others are just electrical only. And what else? Uh, in digital components, there's, there's gates and flip-flops. Uh, a lot of the stuff you'd want for uh, computer type simulation. In terms of file components, um, there's ways of dealing with uh, sub-circuits and SPICE net lists and uh, one port and two port S parameter files, which can be quite convenient. For simulations, uh, each one of, one of these would be required for each simulation. That is, you need at least one of these in a simulation to uh, make it run. So you've got DC, AC, harmonic balance, um, or transient, etc. Down in diagrams, this is where your different plots are going to come from in terms of setting up plots. In this case, uh, the Cartesian is for uh, doing just uh, um, DC sweeps or uh, frequency or, or amplitude versus frequency sweeps. The polar uh, plot is uh, typically for looking at uh, loop stability and or um, phase related issues with um, uh, microwave networks. Uh, Smith chart uh, for plotting impedances. And then admittance chart, which is just the inverse of the impedance uh, Smith chart. Um, also your polar Smith combination down here so that you can plot, uh, properly plot uh, what you, uh, information you want to uh, see about uh, uh, microwave circuits, especially transistors, where you can have impedance um, on one part um, and a lot of micro, a lot of transistors tend to be uh, uh, capacitive and real, while you can have polar uh, um, for your S21 and S12 um, for your forward gain and isolation. And so, and obviously a locus curve for doing stability. Down here in paintings, here's all kinds of symbol stuff for uh, putting text and other uh, 
labels and whatnot inside of uh, or arrows etc inside of your uh, schematic so let's go back to lumped components and we will bring in a us quote unquote resistor you'll note that there's an another one that it wants to place but if we hit the escape key we can let go of everything if you hit the escape key too many times this selection arrow gets deselected and it seems like everything's broken you always want to go back up and make sure that this uh, arrow select box is the highlighted or activated one so if we click on it and hit Control r we can rotate and so let's just make this into say a 1000 ohm resistor and we need to hit enter for it to apply now I can left click on that resistor, hit Control C to copy it to the clipboard, Control V to make a new one, and park it about like so, and then hit Escape again, and left click on my mouse. And up here we have a wire, so I will bring my wire down. I'm going to make a voltage divider in terms of DC just here for beginners and then escape to let go there we have a ground symbol and we will ground the bottom of that lower resistor and then escape again to let go then we will bring a wire over from this resistor just to accommodate a battery and notice it still wants to continue on but we'll hit escape to let go then we can come down to sources and go for DC, i.e. a battery. Hit escape again, and let's make this 10 volts. We hit enter, and then another ground symbol, and escape. And let's just add another wire out here just for visual convenience, and then escape, and then let's add oh we'll put a, a name on this wire if we double click on this wire double left click we can enter a label for the wire and we'll call this v out and this label can be drug around however we like we can go here for double click on this wire for v in And then we come back into our simulation block area and we're going to do, uh, we're going to click on simulations. And we're going to do a DC simulation. So we're going to drag this DC simulation element in. And now we need to save this as a file. It typically won't simulate without a file name. So we'll file save as not sure why things are taking so long on these saves I'm going to call this divider <laughs> 